rapper Tay K, like I said uh, last week, the race is over, and it really, really is over. And he uh, got sentenced today to 55 years. He was facing five to uh, five years minimum to 99 years in the penitentiary. Let's talk about it. We back, good fellow sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Continue to share the videos. Appreciate the love, and support, and um, yeah, he he got 55. They got him damn near right down the middle. And, uh, and I think a few other people that snitched on them, they got uh, they got 20 years. They copped 20. So they'll be getting out way before he get out, and they snitch. And that's just the game. Everybody say, oh, no, no snitching, no snitching. And he, you know, they use his lyrics against him to race. But, you know, he sat there and didn't say nothing. He ran down honorable. I'm going to keep saying that. He went down with honor. He ain't the first rapper to rap about a situation. And it come back to bite him in the hindsight. But he didn't snitch. He could have just snitched on his people and got to 20 and say, oh, he pulled the gun and this and that. Shit, he might have, with, with his lawyer back, and he might have got like 15 or 10 had he snitched. And at the end of the day, the whole thing about the snitching thing is, back in the day when them OGs wasn't snitching, they wasn't facing life. Wasn't no Rockefeller, conspiracy, RICO laws. Wasn't none of that. And the very same people that snitch, they get accepted back into society. Nobody looking to take their head off their shoulders or they ain't got to look over their They celebrities. They calling their radio shows. They doing interviews. They getting dapped up. And they come, and, and the people who, who didn't snitch is sitting there facing life, facing the death penalty. And when they get out, nobody remember them. You know, but he learned a valuable lesson. And, and at the end of the day, like Donald Glover said, uh, Cowdish Gambino, he was a baby. He never had a chance. And that's why it's very, very important to have a, tr a strong background, strong parents. You know what I'm saying? And some some people, some people you can't save. You know, some of these kids you can't save. They want to be gangster. They want to run the streets. And now, you know, he made a mistake. And he facing another capital murder charge. So he had he even beat this one, they would have got him on the next one. His life is over before it really began. He was the only artist that that had a top song in the top 100, whatever it was, and never got a chance to perform it. You know, the very same situation he rapped about is his very same downfall. And now he going to die in the Texas penitentiary. When he get out, he going to be what? About 75 years old. What's the point of even getting out? He probably going to die in there. Why his homeboys who probably 20, 25, 30, they going to be getting out when they 55, you know, 45, 50, you know, but that's the game. They popularize, no snitching. They say no snitching. You look up, your whole crew to snitched on you. They'd be walking in 20. Shit, they might even get parole with good behavior if the population overloaded. And they'd be walking out and you'd be sitting there for the rest of your life. Well, how fair is that? So it is what it is, man. You just got to make sure as parents, man, you let you show your kids this, man, and say, this will happen when you in the street. This will happen. Go, go be, you live an honest job. Go pick up a trade, go to school. Because if you don't, you can go to the street, especially in a state like Texas. They're going to bam you every time, every time throughout the South, every time. But hey, good fellow sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Don't forget, we got uh, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. We got business question, inquiry, sponsorship, video quests. Keep sharing the videos. Appreciate the love, support. Just keep sharing the videos for your boy. Y'all know what it is. One time for the one time. We gone.